This is the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, October the 8th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and all eyes still remain on Matthew as Matthew continues to be a coastal hugger. Satellite image over central Alabama and the, much of the state of Alabama today, just simply clear skies, but we can see uh, Matthew along the South Carolina coast. A front is moving through central Alabama this morning, and uh, that is going to be nice because we actually hit a high of 91 at the Birmingham airport yesterday. And it looks like today with that front and slightly drier, cooler air coming in that we're going to be seeing temperatures uh, only into the middle 80s for the most part. In the upper atmosphere, we have a trough that is uh, coming by the Great Lakes area, but you can see the ridge over Texas. And that ridge is going to be playing a big role in our weather pattern for the week ahead. Temperatures this morning across the area, generally in the uh, upper 60s for the most part, much of uh, the north and central part of the state in the 60s. Uh, I noticed down there at Montgomery there was 71 this morning. It's actually cooler at Mobile with uh, 68. But the thing to notice off this surface chart is uh, the wind being influenced definitely by Matthew, and uh, that's giving us a north northwesterly wind um, not especially high for us, but uh, certainly a steady wind. At this time of the morning, we should be seeing you know, really low values, and we're not. They're uh, around uh, 10 knots or so. The watch warning map uh, features a lot of uh, watches and warnings uh, as a result of Matthew, including uh, hurricane warnings and flash flood warnings, the green areas. Most of that red is related to hurricane uh, advisories and hurricane warnings. The reddish pink you see over Mississippi and parts of uh, Alabama is a high fire danger. And then the medium blue you see uh, across the north central U.S. is a freeze advisory. And the dark blue you see is a freeze warning. QPF wise, oh gosh, don't I wish we could change this. Uh, we need some rain. Unfortunately, it actually looks like we're not going to see rain maybe for as much as two weeks. And unfortunately, as the U.S. Drought Monitor shows, uh, much of Alabama is in drought conditions, and the drought conditions getting especially worse uh, in central Alabama, extending up into the northeast, those areas shown in red. Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk over southeast uh, Arizona for today, along with a marginal risk along the uh, South Carolina, North Carolina coastal area where Matthew is spinning. Speaking of Matthew, there's a look at the uh, satellite image of Matthew this morning. And again, Matthew is a real coastal hugger. It's even closer to the coast right now than it has been when it uh, came uh, along the Florida East Coast and the Georgia coast. Uh, it could become a landfalling storm later today. Although uh, I, I'm having my doubts whether that uh, whether the eye is actually going to cross the coastal area, the forecast is uh, somewhat uncertain. It is uh, fairly confident out through about Monday, but after that, there's a great deal of uncertainty. As Nicole, the one to the east of Matthew, uh, and Matthew could interact with one another. Those interactions can become rather complex. And the GFS this morning is actually suggesting that Matthew won't go down into the Bahamas and become a depression, but rather would move off to the northeast. We'll have to see, but the forecast for the next 48 to 72 hours is pretty confident. Nicole, on the other hand, is a mere shadow of itself as uh, Nicole is beginning to uh, undergo the influences of a good deal of westerly shear. The storm is expected to meander for the next several days and finally move uh, to the northwest and eventually to the northeast and could actually threaten Bermuda uh, by uh, the um, midweek or Thursday time frame. All right, the 068 GFS model run, and there's, um, of course, the surface map, and the big feature you see is Matthew. We also have uh, a low coming into the northwest coast, and they're getting some rain up that way. By Sunday, uh, Matthew, according to the GFS, uh, is uh, heading out away from North Carolina. And um, in the upper atmosphere, uh, the uh, southeastern U.S. coming under a bit of a ridge as that trough over the eastern Great Lakes has moved by us. And um, now the GFS suggesting that that trough will have a bigger influence on Matthew than what has been forecast uh, to date. 
that uh, trough moves off and the ridge becomes the predominant feature on Monday. So we warm back up again as we see a surface high well off to our uh, northeast over the eastern Great Lakes. Tuesday, the upper air pattern is primarily a ridge, but that ridge beginning to dampen a little bit. We see the ridge dampen a little more on Wednesday as that trough comes through the north central United States, uh, helping to dampen the upper ridge. The trough reaches the uh, eastern uh, portion of the Great Lakes on Thursday, and as it does that, it's going to be dragging a front down into the southeastern U.S., now, normally with a front, we would like to see and we would normally see some rain. Not so with this situation. And the main reason is, as you can look at the precipitable water chart, the precipitable water values are staying uh, down below about uh, uh, less than an inch and a quarter of precipitable water. And it's just not enough to wring any moisture out of the atmosphere. So it looks like we stay dry with just a few passing clouds. Friday, the trough moves out into the Atlantic, and we see the ridge beginning to build a little stronger. This is setting up a surface low, oh, uh, pardon me, a surface high over the eastern Great Lakes. And that surface high could, on Saturday, as we see the ridging begin to take hold once again, that surface pattern, uh, the, the uh, surface high strong enough to possibly set up a cold air damming or a, a wedge situation. Uh, especially for the northern half of Georgia, maybe influencing Alabama. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, by the time we reach the 18th of October, Tuesday, we see that a substantial ridge is in place over the eastern half of the country, but there's also a substantial trough over the uh, western part of the country, and that trough moves out across the central plains and uh, across the Mississippi River, generally around Friday the 21st of October. And this could be the foreseeable rain event to help us, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a real big rain event. And then by Sunday the 23rd, that trough has moved by, so we should be cooling off and be out of any risk of any rain once again as we dry out. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. Expect to have the next one posted around 7.30 or so on Sunday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.